Jessica with Fantabulosity and I have a Stitch Fix unboxing video for you. I haven't done this in a really long time. I actually did a few, I don't know, maybe a few months ago, but I did them on my Instagram stories. It was just a really quick, like very unprofessional <laughs> unboxing, but I still wanted to be able to show you what I got. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'd love for you to. It's just Fantabulosity underscore blog and you should be able to find me. But I had some time today. My kids are at grandma's house. My husband's at the gym. It's quiet. And I thought I'm going to unbox this for you and give you a better look at things. So I actually also did a trunk club video the other day. So if you haven't tried trunk club yet, Kelly, my stylist, nailed it. I mean, there was a, there were a couple items in there that uh, just kind of okay, but it was still my style, if that makes sense. It was things that I didn't want to keep because it was one of, they I would pass them up in the closet type type thing. But she really did nail my style. So I'll put the link to Trunk Club here in my description or in the blog post wherever you're watching this, just in case you want to try that too because it is a lot of fun. And you get I think I got like ten items instead of the five. Okay, so with Stitch Fix, as you know, probably, or maybe you don't know, I don't know, they usually send about five items and then you only pay for what you wanna keep, okay? If you have paid the styling fee, you will get to use that towards anything that you wanna keep, unless you have the style pass, which I don't know if they still offer that. I should've looked that up. And then you don't pay for each style box or whatever you received, you paid the one flat fee. All right, so with that out of the way, Let's go see what they sent. Actually, I always read the note first because I think that's fun. Emily, oh cute how she spells it too. Hi Jessica, happy fix day and happy holidays. We were thrilled with the opportunity to style for you again and I hope to have found some things today that you'll love. I started off by grabbing and I don't say because I don't like the, to spoil it. Okay, and this is prices and I'll read those off at the end. All right, first item up. This looks like more than five, unless there's just some bulkier items. Okay, so this is a black and white striped top, very basic, long sleeve, but it does have the curved like hem on the bottom, which kind of adds some detail. And, you know, instead of just a straight bottom, I think it would look really cute with some tights, right? Maybe some boots. Um, I'm not big on wearing stripes. I feel like it makes me look wider than I want it to. Uh, this is a Market and Spruce. That's always a really good brand that Stitch Fix sends out. Folsom Crew Neck Knit Top. So I will also, in my, I always do a blog post when I do these videos. Not always, but most of the time. Um, I'll make sure to list out all the items, the brands, the size, the price, everything in my blog post. So I'll link to that too, in case you see something that you like and you want to share it with your stylist. Okay, so that is cute it's one of those that i'd have to try on for sure uh before i can say whether i'd keep it or not Ooh, oh this is nice this is so soft okay and it's very cropped it's very short it looks like it's shrunk in the dryer a little bit but actually it doesn't look that short when you put it up against me maybe it was just kind of the material or something i don't know man you talk about soft so this is a Vero Moda. I don't know how to pronounce these. Um, Sedella textured crew neck pullover. I don't have a cashmere sweater, but I imagine that this is what cashmere would feel like. <laughs> and I highly doubt it is. Oh, polyester, 94% polyester. Okay, so it's very, 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 very soft. It looks short, but I don't know. It may not actually be that short. So will I keep it? I don't know. It's one of those that I'd have to see on. My first instinct is no, probably not, just because I'm not a big sweater person. Like this has sweater looks to it, but it's not sweater material. I feel like sweaters are itchy, bulky, and I like things to be more form-fitting. Speaking of sweaters, scarf, sweater, poncho. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's one of these. So, I don't know what you call it. Some kind of wrap, right? It's not me. <laughs> it's cute. And I see some really cute ones, and girls wear it cute, but it's just not me. I don't like to 
keep up with anything. I'll put it this way, when it's cold outside, I still try to figure out how I can get away without wearing a coat or a jacket because I hate having things on me. So, um, I won't be keeping this, I know. Um, it's Echo Brand Raylene, Raylene Checkered Wrap in pink. So, I mean, it's cute. I can think of quite a few people right now who would look really cute in that. One's my sister, one's my friend Carla. Um, yeah. Okay, pants in like a burgundy or maroon color. They're Chelsea, no, Cosmic Blue Love. I thought they were Chelsea 28, but that's waist size. Um, ew, the wash code is Oxblood. That's sick. So they're pants. I mean, they have a cropped hem, but not really something that, I think it's because Hold on, I'm talking before I'm thinking. I don't think it's something I'd keep because I don't really feel like I'd wear them enough to justify it. And if I had to guess, they're not gonna be $20. If they're $20, I'll keep them, but I'm sure they'll be up there in price. If I worked outside of the home, I would probably get those because they'd be great for dressing up, kind of like business casual. But I'm more of a skinny jean kind of girl and yoga pant wearing kind of girl. I think I just fell in love and I don't even know what this thing is yet. pink puffer jacket thing. <gasps> so the sleeves are like sweater material. This is like puffer vest. Andrew Mark Performance Gigi Mixed Media Soft Jacket. Okay, first impressions. I don't really like the mixed material. Not a huge fan of it. However, I can look past that when it's my favorite color of all time, blush. And I love jackets like this that I can wear over things. Let's see if I can back up without knocking my Christmas tree over. Okay, so it has some like black detail zipper. Oh my, yeah, I like it. The reds kind of throw me off and that tag is throwing me off. Can I zip it? That's the question. Because it would look cutest zip, I think. Oh, that's cute. Oh, sorry, I went blurry on you. That's cute. Uh oh, I'm knocking ornaments off the tree. <laughs> That's cute. And we're gonna say, I'm gonna say, since I don't have a styling credit to apply towards this, I'm probably not gonna keep it because I have a feeling it's going to be $69, okay? We're just gonna say that. And I don't wanna keep it for that because although I like it, I don't know if I'd wear it enough. All right, here we go. The wrap is $54. Uh, the Cosmic Blue Love, Cali cuffed skinny pants, so the burgundy pants are 88. Definitely not keeping those. Market and Spruce Folsom Crew Neck Knit. Oh, I guess that's the striped. Uh, striped top, $36. Vero Moda Textured Crew Neck Pullover. A light blue, so that's that sweater that I said was super soft. That's 54. Oh, heavens. This is 88. So I'd have to really like it. In my trunk club video the other day, I got a Patagonia like pullover and it was way more comfy than this thing. So, I mean, it's, what I like about it is it's very form fitting, but I feel like I couldn't relax in it. You know, I, that's really hard to explain and I know it sounds super picky. So, since I have a Style Pass membership, my complimentary styling is currently active. So I didn't have to pay the $20, but it stinks when I don't have the $20 that I can apply towards something because I feel like I've just saved $20, which I really didn't. Um, you get 25% discount if you buy everything. But I don't want everything, so I'm not doing that. So I'm probably gonna try on that sweater, the light blue sweater, fifth, no, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. The only thing I would try on would be the stripes, even though I don't typically keep stripes. And I may try on that sweater just to see before I send it back. But so this fix was actually kind of a not really my style, I guess. Although this, I do love it. I just don't want to pay $88 for it. Let me know what you think. Comment below uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or on the blog post or on Facebook or wherever you're following me. I'd love to hear what you have to say. 
and I'll put all the links to everything I've mentioned in the description of the video or in the blog post to help you out a little bit. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I am probably going to be doing more of these videos again, so let me know if you want more trunk club, more stitch fix, and I do wanna say that I have a video coming very, very soon about a new styling service that has blown my mind. When they first reached out to me, when I first found them, they were saying, they were talking and introducing themselves. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, well, I have some other unboxings. I do stitch fix. And they're like, no, we're not an unboxing service. And I was like, what? You get this own, your own personal stylist and you text each other. It's insane. It's so awesome. She was so good at what she did. And I'm going to share those with you in a blog post and a video and show you and tell you about this new service because it is awesome. I absolutely love it. And I think you need to try it. Okay. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications if I have a video go up like recipes, home organization, decluttering tips, fashion, whatever I feel like doing. And then visit me on the blog if you haven't yet at fantabulosity.com. See you later. Bye.